welcome to visions of light and love this is your bonus reading bonus reading this is timeless this is for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus the first part of the reading will be your love portion and the second part will be related to your finances again this reading is for my sagittarians out there sun moon rising and venus bonus reading okay thank you for all of your views i am grateful um if this reading resonates with your situation hit that um sub subscribe link if you haven't already also okay four cards turned over again i was going for three but four turned over all right so let's find out how your partner feels what's going on with them also, um, hit the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Also, hit that thumbs up image. It helps the video circulate. All right, so with that being said, Sagittarians, your partner is happy with you. Because of you, they are, they are seeing life differently. So that is beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful when someone is happy and you make change in their life comment in the comment section and let me know if this is you or this could be vice versa this person does not want to let you know, let you go but they don't really know if you feel the same way about them this person wants to know how you feel about them okay they they want to know how do you feel you you got this person floating on the cloud nine okay and this is love. I don't, I'm not getting anything sexual yet. But well, let's find out once these cards come out. Okay. Oh, the magician, Gemini Virgo energy. Okay. Sagittarius Pisces energy is here. I'm seeing um air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let me know in the comment section or thumbs up this video. All right, I'm seeing someone here wanting commitment. Putting it into old cycles. Let's see. Let's see what else is going on. Cars are jumping. They are jumping, jumping, jumping. That's what I'm hearing this song by Destiny Shaw. Ladies, leave your man at home. The club is full of ballers and the pocket is full of dough. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's see. So your partner is manifesting. They're manifesting success with you. They are. So you and this partner, you and this person could be just like dating at this moment in time or things are not. There isn't a commitment here. Like there isn't like. Uh, exclusive exclusivity. I don't know why I cannot speak today, but um, yeah, your partner is manifesting things to start moving forward. They want this to move forward. They could be traveling towards you or looking at a new car, or some of you may be looking at a new car. As a side note, someone may be purchasing something new, a new vehicle, or you could be looking at um, vacations. I'm seeing a vacation coming up. Some of you could be traveling the world. However, um, I do see maybe a blue, green, tan, or white car as well. But I'm seeing your person wants to communicate. They want to talk about where things are going. They want to know where this union is going. Because, like I said, you have this person floating on cloud nine. This is either you having them float on cloud nine or um, they have you floating on cloud nine because energies could be vice versa, okay? This person wants to, um, they're thinking logically. They want to communicate. They need, they want all of the information that may be hindering this from moving towards a commitment because this is what they want. They want this king of pentacles. They want commitment. They want compassion, stability, security. They want um, a fa this person wants a family with you. They want to be productive. They want to combine finances. 
this person is ready to build. Um, they want someone that they can build with. They want to build a legacy. Okay. And they are standing up for what they believe in, for what they want. They're not backing down. Now, this may be causing you to feel distracted. Um, this person may also feel like you're going to ignore their offer, like you're not going, going to accept their offer of this new life from what I'm seeing. And it will hurt their feelings and make them feel sad. It will also cause them to be or to feel withdrawn. Or maybe some of you with the Hermit card could be dealing with the Virgo. Or some of, some of you may need to withdraw, meditate to get clarity, to gain the answer that you need about this moving this relationship towards commitment. Some of you need to stay focused on what's really going on here. Because with the Knight of Wands, some of you may be withdrawn from this person's offer. Some of you may be a player or this person is a player. Okay, let me know in the comment section. Because this Knight of Wands is here. I'm, I'm seeing someone here may be a player. Could be you, could be them. I don't know your story. Only you know your story and the cards are telling the story. Yeah, see, there's fear here. So this is not has not gone or moved towards commitment because someone has a fear of commitment. There's a fear here. Okay, someone has abandonment issues. Someone has a fear that this other the other person will leave them. Okay? So that so that's what the problem is. There's a fear. This person cannot commit or is not moving forward because there is a fear surrounding commitment and this person has abandonment issues they have issues with um finances and that's what the problem is but it's really abandonment issues so someone here this person may need to see a therapist maybe needing to talk to someone maybe when you two have this conversation, everything needs to come out on the table because this person is struggling with abandonment issues. But I'm going to leave it at that. And I am going to go into the second part of your reading, Sagittarians, pertaining to your finances. Okay? We're going to move towards the second part of your reading, which is pertaining to your finances. What is the energy for the finances of the sign Sagittarius? What is the financial energy for the sign of Sagittarius for their bonus reading? Okay. Sagittarius. Okay, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> So there's something, some type of conflict or challenges that are is limiting your finances at this time. But I feel like you have some, um, you're keeping hope alive. You have good energy around you. Some of you are satisfied with what you have, okay? You're satisfied with what you have. I also feel like... Um, Some of you need to tap into your creative side, okay? Step into your creative side because there is, some of you need to meditate, like go do something alone so that you can tap into that creative side. Um, also, some of you may have... Um, because we have motherly here. So some of you may have a baby. And that could be the reason why you're limited to what you um can do at this time. But you're satisfied with that. So that's all that matters. And I'm seeing you're being patient. Could be done with a Leo. But you're being patient. You are having courage. You are in good health. You're not letting anything get to you. you you're satisfied with where your life is at at this point in time. 
okay? And I feel like there was some type of deception. Let's see what why this deception card is here. There could have been deception on a job with job and work coming out behind it. But let's see, why is the deception card? Here? Oh, okay. Thank you. Deception. Confusing. Confusion. So there could have been some confusion about an opportunity that you were waiting on. But I, I'm seeing you being patient. Being patient at this time. And um, you're going to decide on what you want to do next financially when the time is right for you. That's what I see. So, Sagittarians, this is your bonus reading. Thank you for watching. Share, like, subscribe. This is like. Hit that thumbs up. Like this video. Comment in the comment section. Let me know if this is your story. I will respond back. But thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will see you next time. Be safe out there. Bye.